I'm Vanessa Joy and I'm gonna show you how to shoot indoor, light and airy, and dark and moody photos, all with natural light. But a lot of people don't realize the difference between shooting light and airy and dark and moody just has to do with the light choice first, and secondly, the background. Now, third, and other things that come to play are the props and the dress and the wardrobe and all of that, but let's just pretend you don't have those things under your control. And the only thing that you can control is the background and the lighting. So first up, we're going to shoot with Megan, a nice light and airy, happy type photo. So I love that, but I like to bring a little bit of foreground. It just adds some softness to the photo, and I happen to have a fake plant behind me. The next thing I want to do, I'm gonna brighten up the backdrop. Now let's switch to dark and moody. So we're basically gonna do all of the opposite things. I do wanna do dark and moody right here so that you can see that you don't actually have to have a dark background in order to achieve this. And we're gonna get a completely different vibe. Before we get any further in this video, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace for probably over a decade. Squarespace is a platform where you can create beautiful custom websites in just a few minutes. Choose from a plethora of templates where you can easily plug and play your own work. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. We all know that an online presence is crucial for your brand, so build one that stands out. Head over to this link for my exclusive 10% discount on your first domain at Squarespace. Now back to the video. I wanted to take a second and show how I edit photos that have more of this dark and moody style and really what this is is more of split lighting or shooting on the shadow side because what this does with your images is it creates emphasis on every little detail in the skin. So this was shot with the Canon R10. I'm here in Evoto and I just want to do a quick AI color look on here to give it that overall style I want. They have a ton of different styles just depending on what you're looking for. Since I decided to pull in the raw file, I figured I would give these a try. Oh, this is fun. This has a little bit of a mood to it. I think I'm going to go with this ember glow and then just back it off a little bit so it's not so intense. And then this works really nicely and I can come down here and pull my highlights back because those were a little bit hot. I can even open up my shadows if I didn't want as much, open up the blacks if it didn't want as much contrast but that looks pretty good to me i'm gonna just go ahead and crop it for my sanity because i really would like it to be a little bit better crop a little bit tighter maybe right around here putting her more in that upper thirds yeah that looks good to me okay let's go ahead into the portrait retouching for this one i'm gonna head over to my presets i do have a bunch of different presets here you can actually purchase my presets in evoto and i'll have a link to that down below so the one i'm gonna go down to is vanessa face and it's probably just my portrait retouching one if you check out the link i haven't actually named it but what this is doing is just smoothing everything out for me skin tones are smoothed out Face is smoothed out, eyes are brightened a little bit, and just nothing too entirely drastic. Of course, after you do that, you can come over here and make any adjustments that you would like. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a higher cranial top. So see how it gives her like a little bit more volume there. So let's go ahead to the eyes and I'm actually going to unlink these because the right eye, I actually don't want it brightening as much. It's the left eye that I just want to be brighter. So it matches that right eye. Uh, admittedly, I would have liked to see a little bit more catch light in this eye. Um, but she just turned ever so slightly. Actually, you know what? Let's do that one. That added the catch light I really needed to have there. I really would have preferred having a little bit of a reflector, but to me that adds a little catch light you know i want to back it off just a little bit which we can definitely do we can even rotate the catch lights 
I'm going to do it a little bit softer. I think I like this one. And then we can back off the amount so we don't have to have it so drastic. Just a little bit of catch light. So we have just a little bit of life in her eyes. And even looking at it when I back it out, it just looks a little bit unnatural. So I'm going to come back up here to the brightness and I'm going to lower it. Uh, you know, I just want a little bit, not a ton. So you can see it before and after. Just have a little bit of light popping back in her eyes, but that's it. That's what I would do in order to smooth out the texture that using lighting like this naturally gives. So I thought I would let you see it. And of course, below you can grab 30 free credits with Evoto and also check out my retouching preset. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell. See ya.